To get this kind of effects, first of all, you need to have a container. So now the choice is going to be that polymodeling or the surface modeling. So polymodeling is like normal modeling kind of technique we have here, which is I like you know by default kind of modeling inside Maya. But here we are having this surface modeling also, and I think to make this kind of model, I am going to show you the surface modeling technique, which is a very old school method. It is there is nothing new about it, but it is going to be a you know refreshing thing to you. So you can see we have this curve. So double click on this. So whenever you are going to use any kind of tool, so double click on that tool to get the tool settings, right? So if you have this tool settings, that means is what that if accidentally, if you have something selected, something like this, which is not by default, so you're not going to get that proper result, right? So reset the tool first. All right, and then you start your work. So I have reset it, and this is called EP curve. And now go to this front view, and let me take some room and make a line something like this. And this line you can make anything you like, means. Any kind of shape you can make, there is no problem. Right click, go to control vertex. Now you have this purple kind of vertex we have to manipulate the position of it. So you can increase here or increase this like so. And yes, uh, you have to have some, some patience to have a proper looking model, right? So you have to give some time to it to have decent kind of shape, which I am looking for. So this is all right. This is not a bad thing, so something like this. Because of, let me tell you one thing that uh, it may happen that when we are going to make this kind of thing, it will take time, right? Why? Because of, I have, you know, practiced it a lot, right? Before, you know, creating this course, I have used this thing a lot. So I know how to use this and how to get the proper shape. But when we are going to use this first time, maybe we are not going to get the desired result. Why? Because of, I have practiced a lot. So you have to practice a lot also so this is the thing that you have a pretty nice kind of you know line right here and let me right click and go to object mode and this is a half side of that container right this one kind of like a wine glass kind of thing or maybe you can say something like uh you know magical kind of cup kind of thing we have here so now here we have this one this is called revolve so this thing also you can get from this in modeling section you have uh, you have this surface we have this revolve option also so the same thing and the shortcut we have in front of the you know right here so click on this, you'll get pretty nice looking, uh, you know, container. And let me tell you one thing that we can see, we have some problem in here. So this is like hollow, right? So there is no problem in this thing. So it is not going to leak your fluid, something like that. This is not natural. We are making this thing looks natural, right? So don't need to think about this thing so this is like simple modeling kind of thing which you can fix very very easily all right so go to outliner and let me tell you that this curve we have so if it is not you know you're not liking this so you can select the curve right click and you can change the curve and this surface is going to change the shape 
you know in the real time so this is also you can make uh, something like this so if it is not looking good then you can change by seeing the exact model right so that is why I have told you that I have practiced a lot so that is why I have you know I don't need to check it but if you uh, are not getting a desired result it's because of it is not about your uh, fluid is looking good in 3d everything should look good because of you are you are taking a look of everything right so extremely important this thing so you are you know you are studying this fluid so only fluid thing is good or like the same the other thing is bad it should not happen like that right so try to make look everything should look good right okay so when you have this one so first of all we have to clean the outliner so first control g right and select it and go to this you know this one this is layer and we can switch off on so this is a like one kind of workflow kind of thing so that you can you know hide it you can unhide it it's a very very you know easy way or you know convenient way of hiding stuff why so let me tell you that it like if I select it, press H key, this is hidden now. But if I go for this, you know, all, it is going to come back. So this is really like a little, little bit of irritating kind of thing while you are working and you are involving your, you know, mind in something. So some unwanted things is coming here and from here and there. So this is like not good thing. So if I make it off, that means is what that no matter what like we're going to show all make it show all it is not going to be visible right so this is a proper way to hide anything so this is extremely important that you should use this uh, layers kind of uh, technique to hide your objects which is not intended to be used uh, frequently right all right so first thing that we have made the this this cup right in the next video, I'm going to show you that what you can do with this uh, setup. This is going to be the next topic. So see you in that lecture.